let me come here and rotate that so that I'll be able to see all the positions that will be available for me to start placement of the trade. Now, let me pick on my tool there called Mache. Then uh, I pick part, part one and, and the secondary part is part two. Then I pick my, my first position on that corner then come all the way to the second position on this corner here. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll give some time to that information. Then uh, you can see my trade is inclined. And in, this inclination means that uh, my XYZ plane is inclined also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to and to confirm that I'll show you how why it is inclined. You can see my XYZ plane is inclined like that. So it detects the profile or the direction of my XYZ plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just press delete. So once I've pressed delete, I'm first of all take my XYZ plane to it, it, its default. So I'll pick on the XYZ plane and just place it somewhere there on the rigid on, on the default position, uh, usually on a flat surface, the global position there is the best for the for lack of a better word. Now let me pick on that member and pick on this member as, as a secondary member and pick this corner as my first position. Don't, don't worry about the, uh, the the clash, the tree will clash there with the clear connection there. So let me just zoom out or zoom in and uh, narrow down on or, or zero down on that connection there on that point. So we'll have our trade in place. We have the trade in place, you can see that. Perfect. If I come to navigate there and I'll be able to pick on it and turn it around like that, you'll be able to see we have the trade. But don't worry about the, the clash here. We can decide either to uh, reduce the, the, the clit slightly and uh, bring it down slightly to that level. Then the, the, exten the extended part that remain will, be, will make it be part of the assembly with the trade. So that should not be such a big worry. The, the key part is just how do how do you know how to fix this thread and which best tool to use and how do you apply them now we are going to the the other direction of 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 our thread and since it is taking an inclination upward you can see that if i, if I take it if i if i turn it like that you'll be able to see we are working on this staircase but you can see we have this uh, thread here so we are we're applying the threads on this on this uh, second flight of our st of, 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 of our staircase now let me just turn it around like that then i'll right click to walk away from the previous command of where we used this thread now let me just initiate another command on the same same using the same same using the same same macro so i'll pick my main part so i'll pick my main part as this one as the first stringer and this one as my second part stringer uh, as the second part now i'll come back on my initial uh, spot at that corner there as my first position then come here as my second position so i'll just give some time to process that information then we'll be able now to start populating it upward then i'll come to navigate by left clicking on it then we have options of of, of moving your model we have pan and how set uh, viewpoint so to rotate you know, uh, we are interested in the rotation so i'll pick my point of rotation if you see a plus sign here pick your point of rotation then you'll see some uh, reddish uh, kind of a circle that indicates your uh, point of rotation then just press your left button on the mouse hold then move your mouse like this then you'll be able to rotate then if you take a closer look here if i zoom close you can see we have anti-skid anti-skid on on this on on the on our treads you can see that anti-skid just to, to anti-sliding when you step on the on the on the tread now i had showed you how you can enable the the balls so we can we will not deal deal with that now you can just do that by yourself because i had showed you on the first flight now we want to populate this on the upper side so prior to that, we have to align our XYZ plane with with the with the string with the stringer because the stringer is inclined going upward. So I'll come to applications here and pick on the work plane. Then I'll pick work plane tool. Then just mouse over this stringer and place it right like that. So you can see we are moving on the X direction because if I come to navigate and turn it right like that, you'll be able to see it clearly that our XYZ plane is aligned with our 
uh, stringer or, or first flight or second flight of a staircase. Now I want to populate this up up to this uh, side or up to this uh, top end here of our of our staircase. So number one, I'm going to select it. The, the thread that I intend to populate all the way to or to 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 this top end here. So I've selected it. I'm going to right click and come to spatial copy and pick on linear. So once I'm in linear, I'm going to key the distance between the top end of this thread to the to the bot to the to the top end of the next one will be 90. So I've keyed in 90 here and the number I need is 11. So once I've indicated all those numbers, I'm going to click copy. So once I click copy, it will be populated relative to the uh, the direction of the XYZ plane, which we've just aligned it with our with our flight, uh, 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 which is inclined to uh, towards the top floor or the second floor. So you can see we move all the way to that end, and it's actually meshing or matching with uh, the top end here. So. This, uh, these are normally industrial trades, but uh, as as this is uh, this will be a workshop or a warehouse, the trade is uh, is advisable because you'd be wearing boots and boots are susceptible to uh, to holding grease or hiding grease, or you will be walking on, on on oiled places, and this will will uh, make you uh, susceptible to to skidding. So. You don't need a uh, staircase that is tiled. You need this uh, uh, staircase that has some grooves that will be will not subject you to to chances of of, of sliding. So this is an industrial kind of of, of tread, and it's advisable for uh, for this situation here for for this kind of structure. So you can see that. But if I turn it around, you can see so many symbols of welding of weld. So I want just to get the symbols you see, like uh, the ticks, 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 or rods, or uh, or, or welding, or welding, welding, welding rod holder here. You can see it, it looks like that. So let me just right click and click interrupt just to walk out of that command. Then I'll left click by left clicking on empty screen. So if you see this orange thing, means you've left clicked. So I'll right click and come to redraw. So if I redraw. I'll lose all those symbols, so it, our, 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 our model will look as near, as nice as it is, as you can see here. So if I switch back to the top view, we'll be able to see we have we'll, ha we'll have this view here of our staircase. You can see that. So maybe you don't you want to see the the, the 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 points. I have showed you how you can get rid of those points. So switch back to isometric. Uh, view you can always check switch to 3d plane and uh, twice and it will go back where it will take you where you were before so that's all about the staircase and uh, the manual one just has modeling like simple modeling of a staircase just putting uh, the post and putting the handrails and uh, connecting them that should not be uh, such a big task to do, to do. and uh, uh, since this is uh, advanced stages of learning Tecla structures, I think at that stage you, you, you are conversant with the tools available in Tecla structures. And uh, if I turn it like that, you'll be able to see that. Now, on the side of uh, landing, I think we, we can just uh, uh, pick this one here. I can uh, pick, I'll be able to come back and pick on that member. And we want to use this member here as our first, as, as our first uh, component then uh, the secondary uh, part then we are going to use this corner here I want to use this corner here as my as my first position then I use the other end as my first position but this 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 type one this type will force us to weld some flat bar on the other side because our beam should have been a channel and the channel should, should be should be facing the back should be facing this side so to allow the uh, a nice connection of the of the of the tread or of the landing to the beam now i'll just snap there for just a demonstration so once i've snapped there i'll be able to define and you can see it's taking a weird uh, a direction of, of 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 its position due to this is because the of the the direction of our z-axis 
So I'll just go back and uh, select on it. So once I've selected on it, and I'll come back to view. So under view, I'll pick on the work plane tool and pick on work plane tool and just take it back to its, sorry, to, to its global position. So advantage to that is that uh, we want we want now to check the distance here, the, this distance. Let me just zoom close. We want to check this distance here. Turn it around so that I get the accurate details of what I want to show you. The distance of the width of our thread. Now, with aid of these corners here, I'll be able to check the distance, but it will not be accurate. So let me just uh, make this. I hope you're seeing this clearly. We want to place a thread here on this landing. On the, on the landing, you see here, this one here, this beam and this beam. So I want to get the distance from this edge to this edge. How do we do that? I'll come to edit, then come to measure and pick distance. Then I'll snap on that spot and just keep your, ma your mouse on a straight line and move to the opposite direction. And I'll just snap on that spot. If I click there, I'll be able to see this in 900. So taking into account that the width is 900 and the length can be defined by defining the two points. Uh, and uh, now let's go back and get started uh, afresh in defining the positions where we intend to place the, our landing with the aid of gratings. Now I'll come back and uh, invoke that command or start that command. Then I'll pick the parts I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm intended to place the gratings. Now I'll pick the positions where I want to start. I want to start all the way from that spot. Let me just zoom and make sure I, I, I select that accurately. So I'll zoom out on the other side and uh, select this as my second as at my second point. If I click on that, I'll be able to get my trade in place. So what I'll do here it's quite simple it's quite simple is to add is to is to add the the width and also define the full length so that we have these members cutting across or going all the way to the other end so if i come here if i come here and double click on it to get the uh, the, uh, the the dialog box in place so i'll be able now to key in here 900 uh, 900 instead of 2 meters or it, instead of 200 so if I click modify we'll be able to uh, get that feeling that gap completely but uh, on, the, on the on the gratings on this side we'll be able to adjust those later on so if I turn the other side and uh, maybe we can add those later on let me just come to profiles here and have that detail and if you come to bolts and we come here and we have this nine by nine and that's all so parameters if i come here and maybe add maybe make it uh, maybe 100 and maybe 100 right there and click ok and give some time process that information let's see what we have entire principal entire secondary and uh, that's a huge information to process so it, all in all this is how we can use this tool to create the landing so uh the uh, the, the 29 by 29 that was just uh, th these gaps inside here so we can always take it back to 29 or 30 just to make it okay and click okay so once you're there that's okay just give some time to take it back where it was and uh that's all about that that's all about the landing and uh, th this is the, the best uh, and ideal tool for creating uh, 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 greetings for staircase. So uh, that's how you use it. And if I right click and come to redraw, I'll be able to have gotten rid of everything there. And if I turn it around like that, and I'll be able to have my landing in place. So I hope you try that by yourself. That the rest are self-explanatory and you can go back and forth and make sure everything works best for you. And I'll assume things are better on your side in the process of learning technical structures on in the, uh, under intermediate and advanced stages. So let's be done on a different topic apart from the staircase and handle detailings. Let's be done on a different topic. Bye bye.